Hello everyone, welcome to our channel EG Explanation. In this video tutorial, we will be learning about the concept of destructor in C++. So what is destructor? So destructor is a special member function that get called automatically when the object goes out of scope or the object is explicitly deleted so as we know the concept of constructor constructor get called when the object is created similar to constructor we have a concept called as a destructor so destructor is called when the object of a class goes out of a scope or when the object is explicitly deleted by the user in this in this scenario the destructor get called so the syntax to declare the destructor is something like this you have to use tiled symbol then you can mention the class name and one thing about the destructor is the destruct unlike constructor the destructor takes no argument and what is the main uses of destructor the main of uses of destructor is destructor is called to perform any cleanup actions so the cleanup actions may be like if you have allocated any resources then you, you may want to free that resources or you may want to close any resources that is opened so in such scenario you can perform that 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 type of cleanup operation within the destructor so destructor is called when the object goes out of a scope or the object is deleted and this is the syntax for destructor and main the main uses of destructor is it's used to perform any cleanup action so you can define the cleanup action within the body of destructor now let us understand this concept by writing a sample code for that c++ program to understand the concept of destructor has include io stream using namespace std let us first define a sample class called as a let us say we call this class as a test and let us define one public constructor constructor will have the same name as a class name and the body of constructor will call like it contains just a simple statement something like constructor is called now let's define a destructor so similar to constructor a destructor will have a tiled symbol then same as a constructor it has a name as a, a class name followed by the bracket as it is a special member function so c out then we can write simple statement something like destructor is called so whenever the object of a class goes out of a scope the destructor get called automatically so let us verify this concept now let us write a main function over here let us create a class of a test class the object of a test class class t you can see we have created an object t of a class test so whenever the object is created the constructor should be called and whenever the t goes out of a scope means whenever when the line number 17 is called means compiler get to know that this is the last statement and there is no use of the object after that means the object goes out of a scope in such scenario our destructor will get called so let us verify this concept by running this code compiling this code so g plus plus destructor dot cpp and dot slash a dot out and we'll get or put something like constructor is called whenever the object is created and whenever the object goes out of a scope our destructor get called automatically so this is the call the concept related to destructor in c++ in object oriented programming language if you have any question or queries related to that please mention in the comment section and now let us discuss some of the multiple choice questions be, uh, related to destructor 
So what is the purpose of this structure in C++? It is to allocate memory for the object, to initialize data member of a class, to perform cleanup tasks and reallocate resources before an object is de destroyed, to control the access to private member of a class. So obviously the answer will be C to perform cleanup task and deallocate resources before an object is destroyed means whenever like after writing all the code we want we may want to are performing all the operations related to any resources related to any resources what we can what we'll do is we'll perform all the cleanup action for that particular resource before the object is destroyed in such scenario you can call the destructor so that is what you mentioned uh, that answer when a destructor is called in C++. So destructor is called in C++ when an object goes out of a scope or the object is explicitly, explicitly deleted. So the answer is B. So this is uh, some of the multiple choice questions related to destructor in C++. In the next uh, in the next video, we'll be talking about dynamic memory allocation for objects and object array. Thank you so much everyone. If you have any question and query, please let us know in the comment section and please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.